Today I'm going to show you how to do airbrushing in Gravity Sketch using reference images. So in my re reference image library, I have this series of brush strokes that I've created in Adobe Photoshop and brought them in as PNG images with transparent background. So you can see I have a white brush and a black brush. So I'm going to select the stroke tool. I'm going to select ribbon stroke and just start sketching a free stroke here. And uh, using the color selection wheel, I can change the color or the material of that stroke. But what I can also do is select from the reference image a color sample and it will actually map that image onto the surface. So now I have an airbrush stroke. It's fully editable, so I can grab the, the points and I can, I can change the, the curvature, the orientation, and the size of that airbrush stroke. I can also add additional points. And let's say if I just fold the edge over, I can get like a sharper, crisper edge here. It's really tunable and customizable. And it's very free flowing. I can also use the, the surface tool and create larger airbrush strokes like that. Pretty amazing. So in my reference image library, I also have some, some other images that give you something more like a, a marker stroke. And if I select that one, now I get this much more solid stroke, sort of like a dry marker. And if I go back to the airbrush material and I make the stroke really small and really slim, I get something more like a pencil stroke. It's almost like having pressure sensitivity, like you would have on a Wacom device. And then by using the color selection wheel, I can change the color of that stroke as well. Starting with a white, I can select a bright red, and now I can make a bright red stroke, make it whatever color I want. I can also change the, the value just by going downward. So here's a 3D sketch I did of a, an electric crossover SUV over, over a package. And I want to portray this not as a model, but as a pure sketch. So what I'm going to do is turn off the package so we have just the sketch. You can see it has, has these nice sort of cheated wheels. But you can see the interior of the sketch, so mean, meaning I can see through the sketch and see the other side of the sketch, which is, which is very visually distracting. So I'm going to take the volume brush, and it could be just for the sake of being able to see it. The first thing I'm going to do is start to fill in the interior of that sketch. Make sure that everything we do is mirrored. I'm just trying to fill the interior of that sketch so that I don't see through the vehicle. Once I have the interior of the sketch filled in, I'm going to go in and turn off my mirror. I'm going to group it, and then I'm going to make it a flat material. And I'm going to make it white. So now the sketch blends in with its environment and you don't see through it. So next up I'm going to go in with the airbrush and I'm going to start with the body side so I'm going to stay symmetrical. Let's start a new layer. I'm going to select my airbrush. I'm going to select the ribbon stroke again and then go take it all the way to black. So now I have my airbrush. And now I'm just going to start laying strokes of airbrush along that body side. Maybe I'll start with some bigger strokes. And because I'm not modeling, I'm not trying to build an accurate surface. I'm just rendering. I'm just sketching. And we get to the end views of the car. And again, I can take this edge and fold it over to get that sharp front clip. We turn symmetry off because the light's going to come in from one side, and that's up to us to decide. So I'm going to have the light coming in from the driver's side. Now I'm going to use the volume brush to start laying out some of the graphic elements of the exterior. And again, I'm not interested in a perfect surface, I'm just interested in the graphic. And that is how we 3D sketch in Gravity Sketch using Airbrush.